It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to distribute with fractions. Here's our question today. We are asked to drag and drop each expression into the box that contains an equivalent expression. Here's where I'd like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. Once again, understanding we're finding equivalent expressions. So we've been given four algebraic expressions and then four in simplest form. And we're going to drag and drop each of these to their correct location that they're in simplest form. Let's begin. We're going to start with our first one. We have A here. We're going to bring A up to our workspace. And then we are going to subtract each term inside the parentheses. So subtract 1 half A, subtract 1 half A, subtract 3. Subtract 3, bring it up. So we're not done because we have two like terms here. A and one, negative 1 half A are like terms and can be subtracted. Understanding that A is 1A. 1 subtract 1 half is 1 half A. Subtract our 3 and now we have this in simplest form. Looking that I have a positive first term, a negative second term. Positive, positive positive, negative, so it could be this one, negative first term, negative first term. So we know that just looking at the first terms being positive, it had to be one of these two. This is the only one that has subtract 3. Now let's look at this. Multiplying a by 1 half is the same as dividing a by 2. 1 half of a or a divided by 2 are the same. So we're going to match this simplified expression right here to this. So let's drag and drop and clear up our workspace. So our pink work goes to this expression. Let's look at the second. We have negative 2 multiplied by 1 fourth a to distribute. We know that when we have two different signs and we multiply, the product's going to be negative. So noting that before I even do any math, I know that it has to be either this expression or this because the first terms here are negative. If I look at multiplying negative 2 times the second term, the second term is also positive, going to give me a negative second term. So I'm going to guess that it matches up to this right here, a negative and a negative term. So negative 2 times 1 fourth a. Negative 2 times 1 fourth is negative 2 fourths, which simplifies to negative 1 half our a. Negative 2 multiplied by positive 3 halves, 2 divided by 2 is 1, leaving me with negative 3. Reminding you that negative 1 half a is the same as negative a divided by 2. Let's drag and drop this expression over to here and clean up our workspace. Let's look at our third. We have 1 half times a, which is going to be a positive times a positive, and then we have a positive times a positive. So I'm looking, and both terms need to be positive. So I'm looking, and I'm going to guess that this is going to be the simplified expression. Let's go do the math. 1 half times a is 1 half a. 1 half times 6, half of 6 is positive 3. And it does indeed match up over here, remembering that a divided by 2 is the same as 1 half a. And clean up our workspace. All right, our last one. Let's look at this. Negative 3 fourths times positive 2 thirds a. Two different signs is going to give me a negative first term. Then I have a negative multiplied by a negative value. Uh, when we have the same sign, we find the product, we have a positive product. So let's multiply and check. Negative 3 fourths times positive 2 thirds a. 3 divided by 3 is 1, giving us negative 2 fourths a. Negative 2 fourths a simplifies to negative 1 half a. Now let's do negative 3 fourths times negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1, giving us a positive 3. And there we have it. Negative 1 half a is the same as negative a divided by 2. And there's our positive 3 second term. Let's drag and drop our fourth and final expression. And there we have it, our four equivalent expressions. 
Thanks for joining me today as we practice distributing with fractions and identifying positive or negative terms. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I thank you for joining me today, and I hope you'll come back soon.